Sadly, they weren't much of a challenge. What's a girl got to do for a challenge these days? Ah, yes, you're the one he mentioned. He'll be glad you're here. The Veiled Heritants were one thing, but the undead are too much. They're Blackroot Clan. They were a cruel lot even when they were living, and now they're even worse. Don't ask me. We're at a standstill as far as I'm concerned. I'm not even sure what's at stake. Until I know more, we're hunkering down here. Indaini has been running around, though. He's probably got a plan, but you two are on your own for now. Eh, you know, he comes and goes. Oh, yeah, there he is. Did she tell you? One of the greatest mysteries of Valenwood has finally been solved. Decades of conflicting rumors have been put to rest. We finally know what happened to the Blackroot clan. They died, right here in Valaine. Yes, once again, the work of Naaman's Shade and the Veiled Heritance. And yes, I do realize we need to return them to rest, but I'm hoping we can uncover more about what happened here while we do. Are you ready to get to work, my friend? The Blackroot clan warriors are even more bloodthirsty in death than they were in life. But there are also other spirits here, glimmers from the past, crying out for help. I think they're trying to show us something. We need to watch them. Go on if you must, but I'm going to remain here, for now at least. Look for the glimmers of the past I spoke of. Hopefully they will help us figure out how to put the bla- What's that over there? Elfirian, General Malgoth and the rest of the Black Root troops are almost upon us. No, that plan is madness! Silence, Glonir. Our sacrifice today will ensure our sister villages live on. Another scene. Let's watch. Elfie, I can't do this. I'm scared. I don't want to die. It's all right, Glenville. The poison itself is slow. The black root will have cut our throats long before you felt its effects. Here, we'll drink it together. 
and I'll fight by your side till the end. Until the end. Now, to battle! Another one. That's the last of them, General. The village is clear. An easy victory. Valene is the first to fall, but there will be more. Now, per the meat mandate, let us feast on the fallen. Prepare the cave temple. It's a suitable place for a celebration. Another one. General Molgoth. The troops. Half of them are dead. The other half... ...are dying, including us. This is poison. The villagers poison themselves to poison us. What do you mean? The meat mandate, you idiot. Elfiria knew she couldn't win on the field, but she'll still manage victory. To the Nereid Temple. Perhaps we can beg a cure. Another scene. Let's rise, my soldiers. Back to your bodies and take Why up arms. Why do you arms. command us from the ooze? A powerful one, unknown to me, has stolen my bow. It invoked the right of theft and commanded we march against the Dominion. By your command. Sacrifice. To think the villagers actually poisoned themselves in order to poison the Blackroot clan. It may be morbid, but it's also brilliant. Of course, that really doesn't help us return the Blackroot warriors to their graves, does it? From what I gathered, one of Naaman's servants has stolen General Malgoth's bow and compels the Blackroot clan to fight by the right of theft. What we need to do is steal the General's bow back, and then we can release him from his vows. We must rely on the scenes of the past. After being poisoned, General Malgoth went to the Nereid Temple. It's likely he died within. I suggest you go in and search for the General's remains. I'll continue searching for clues out here in the forest. Be wary in there. Nereids wield dangerous magic and can never be trusted. It's no surprise they helped the villagers in their suicidal plot. In fact, the Nereids probably consider General Malgoth's bow a prize. They will defend his remains. For General Malgoth, that's apparently the case. For all his ambition, he was still a staunch traditionalist. It's actually quite impressive that his sense of honor remains intact even so many years after his death. I'd say this is a perverted case. The value that Malgoth placed on his bow alone may be enough for him to want it back. Or he may be using the right of theft as a more honorable justification for his new servitude. 
There was fear in his voice. You would steal that which has already been stolen, then enter the shadow wood and seek it, though you will find only death.
both. The bow is a boon to our army. You will not have it. We're back in the Shadow Wood. I had hoped not to visit here again. But if this is where he is holding the General's bow, then it's just as well. We need to find the Shade to get the bow back. I don't know. We'll have to search until we find him. In the meantime, however, do you recall the glimmers of the past we saw earlier? It seems those spirits are trapped here in the Shadow. We should release them. It's the Shadow Rifts that bind them here. From this side, you only need to touch the Rifts to close them. That will release the spirits from their torment and weaken Naaman's grip on this place. If you're focused on that, I'll search for the Shade. Good luck, and see you by the stones. Soon join us and fight at Morgoth's side. I hope you prepared for undeath. Naaman warned me about you, and I prepared. You will die, and then you will suck.
Something's changed. I do not understand what's going on here. That was a harrowing experience all around. I'm glad it's over. I hope we have succeeded in weakening Naaman's grasp on Valenwood as a whole. Only one thing remains. We must deal with the spirit of General Malgoth. Yes, and since you have succeeded in stealing it, it falls on you to invoke the right of theft with the General. Whatever you ask him, he will be compelled to do. The compassionate choice would be to release the General and his army, to allow them to return to their rest. But if you prefer, you might ask them instead to turn against Naaman and aid our forces in the fight for Valenwood. The choice is yours. So it's true then? You have retrieved my bow from the Shade? My father told me, you will find your bow in an animal's bone. Before it's even carved, you will see it. Mammoth's tusk. Extraordinarily difficult to make a good bow out of. But it was just like he said. I saw it, and I knew. What do you want? Eh, death plays tricks. I thought you said leave. But that's not possible. We don't deserve rest. Not after what happened here. The ooze is the only fitting place for us. You released him. I think that was the right thing to do. I'm glad to know that at least some of the spirits here will be able to rest. Though I am sorry for the villagers who remain trapped in the Shadow Wood. We've done all we can here, but it's clear that Naaman still seeks to harm Valenwood, so our work is not finished. I suggest we spread out and search for signs of darkness. When Auriel wills it, I am certain the Green will bring us together again. Unless you have questions for me, I will soon be on my way. We should both search the forest for other signs of Naaman's corruption. I fear at some point we will have to confront Naaman himself. East. I've seen signs of corruption in both Drilladam Pass and Varant Morass. We must find a way to cleanse these places. And as I said, I expect we will eventually have to confront the Shade of Naaman on this plane. It frightens me to even consider the possibility that he might be at Hectorhain. After we've cleansed the other locations, we should go there. The sooner the better, I think. So go on and head east. The Green will ensure we find each other again. Unless you have questions for me, I will soon be on my way. We should both search the forest for other signs of Naaman's corruption. I fear at some point we will have to confront Naaman himself.